Hey guys, it's Composer. I just wanna make a real quick video um, regarding OVG and me and some of the questions that we tend to get. Um, we often are asked, what is it? Why are we even using it? And how do I get files um, like Lua files um, and libraries to work with it? So first things first, let's just assume that you've downloaded OVG me off the website and you have an understanding kind of what it is. Um, a quick overview really is that it's a way of enabling or disabling mods within the game without having to manually drag over files or manually delete files whenever you want to not use that mod anymore. First thing that I would do is set up a folder um, that you don't mind storing potentially large amounts of files. I have upwards of five or six gigs. It's not a ton, but it's enough that you wanna make sure that you put it on a um, external drive or something that has space. I have a folder set up for what goes into my saved games folder within DCS, and then one that goes into my actual DCS install folder. The root mods folder is one that I have doing that. So that's where I have uh, .lua files, sound packs, and s stuff like that. The DCS mods um, going into my saved games folder is where I actually have liveries. So let me show you just a quick overview of how this, uh, this software works. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go to new. Um, when you go to new, you're gonna give this a title. This title is really just a way for you to determine what these profiles are. I tend to call one of them saved games and one of them root file or um, core game folder, whatever you'd like to call it. What you'll do is under this configuration root folder, this is actually the folder that you're wanting to install the mods into. So in the case of the saved games folder, um, you would want to set that up in your actual saved games folder. Um, the configuration mods folder that comes under that is the folder in which your mods are currently sitting awaiting to be used. So that's the external folder that you set up and have downloaded the mods into. Um, so you click apply and that now is set up and ready to go. If you are looking to get any sort of repositories, meaning uh, files that someone is hosting online for you to download, you go into configure via the URL that you've been given via your squadron or whoever it might be. Plug that into this URL, press add, then go to mods, repositories, query, and then you will just click retry or refresh or whatever it says up here for you. Um, and if you have an X or a circle next to it, that means that one of these either is not downloaded um, or needs to be updated. You don't always have to have all of them. Um, it just depends on the squadron that you're in. I'm not required to have all of these, but I like for the sake of getting good photos or even just feeling a part of a larger squad that I have all of them downloaded. Um, so that is pretty much how this worked. Once I did that, it actually downloaded them for me into this folder and I have not done anything with this folder personally. The one that um, takes a little bit more work is the root mods folder. So this is where things like aircraft Lua's or um, cheek pods, for instance, for our squadron, we like to run a cheek targeting pod. Um, that is something that unfortunately right now you cannot do within the game um, with the default Lua file on the F-18. So we've created um, a file that allows us to put the cheek pod on. Um, and what it does do though, is cause an integrity check fail within multiplayer. So it's something that you want to be able to turn on and off. So we need to set up this core mods um, profile. So I've set up a profile that it's essentially the exact same thing we went through on the last one. You just point to the folder you want them to go to and you point to the folder that they're coming from. So this is my root mods folder that I am saving this actual file to. But before I save this file to it, you notice in the other one that a lot of them were just uh, zip files. In this file, I tend to actually unzip them and get them prepped for OVGME. What OVGME really is doing is taking whatever is inside of this file and pasting it into your DCS root directory or into whatever directory that you've pointed to. So if you notice all of these have config or sounds or mods or something of the sort, it's basically a file that is within the actual DCS core directory. So you'll notice with this Lua file that's very common, if you extract it, what actually is on the inside of it is three files none of them being a config file, a sound file, an aircraft file, or any sort of file that's within inside the root directory. But if I click on this file again, 
there's the core mods file. This is a standard file that you would see um, going on uh, with inside of your core DCS folder. So what I actually need to do is take that file out and put that file inside of my DCS folder that I'm pointing from. So now you'll see if I double click on this, this is what you're seeing here. This goes right to core mods, which is a file with inside of that. So now I should be able to just simply disable it and then enable it um, that quickly. So there's no more uh, putting the file in, overwriting it, and then having to repair your game to get it back to normal and then re-downloading it again because you forgot and deleted it and putting it back in. Uh, you simply just turn it on and off. Um, so I hope this helps. I hope that that's clear. Um, and if anyone has any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, and I'd love to help you in any way that I can.